This musical is about the Apollo Theatre, about 45 minutes north of where I'm standing now, which is uh, on 125th Street, hence the title. And it's the place that launched a thousand voices. And I got to meet Rob not too long back, and I began by asking him what exactly is the musical about? This is a performance show. I mean, it all is the performers. It's about the Apollo is the performers and the people and the atmosphere and, and the talent. And, and we start from that premise. We put all our resources, if you like, into finding the right people for the right job. You know, I mean, that's why we went, you know, we ended up going to New York to look for Georgie Blues because we needed a consummate showman, which we don't make a lot of in England. Do you know what I mean? We just don't make, I mean, you can count them on the number of one hand and usually they're so expensive they don't want to play. Do you know what I mean? Like we, whereas America is full of um, talent. Do you know what I mean? Like it's 262 million people. Do you know what I mean? Like there's got to be two million of them who want to be on the stage. The training's strong. Technically, they're absolutely brilliant. It being a single microphone show where you've got the single sing song singers, right? The, the singer interprets the song, right? Now, depending on how that's feeling, how that's flown, you have to put a band with it, right? Who's going to go with it? They go with to create something. They don't sit there and just play the same dots on the same thing and, oh, she's going a bit faster, but who cares tonight? <laughs> you know, it's none of that. This has to be a feel thing. It's a feel heart show. Uh, so you have that, you know, you have that has to generate. So that's different every night. Also, a theatre, if it's going to be live, is automatically different. It, yes, it looks the same, it feels the same, you know, nobody knows the difference, but it isn't the same. Because the actors, if the actors are playing it live, it's happening. Do you know what I mean? Like, a football game is, is primary example. Do you know what I mean? Like, you set them up there, if you knew every move they were going to make before you go on, it wouldn't happen, right? You don't. You've got to give them a framework and let them happen, you know, and this one happens with the audience as well. And then, of course, in the second act, when people get out of the audience, and there's, you know, there's a point at which the plot invites the audience, you know, if they want to get up on stage and sing, I mean, we've had some magnificent moments. I mean, there was a Methodist preacher, a woman come down, ran down from the circle and sang. Last night, a woman got up and sang uh, Summertime, absolutely beautiful. We had caretakers, solicitors, people <laughs> who work in shop, all sorts of people who can sing, right? And, and the fact that they feel confident and happy enough, right, in the middle of what is a spontaneous event to say, I'll have a go at that, right? And stand it. And the audience, what's lovely, is the audience love it, right? Most of them love it because it's not me up there right but they love the fact that they had the nerve to stand there do that and enjoy that singing right you know and that makes it different every night everyone thinks it's a plant but when people can really sing they go i must have fixed that right and then they come again the second time and go they didn't and it's a funny thing about the show because it is live people do come again and again right i mean i've had one guy bringing in 87 people he must have brought everybody who everybody he knows in because he, he enjoys it so much he says you've got to see this and he said to me the night he says you know every time i come it's different he says every time he says great every night he said but every so often i notice i enjoy it more the second time around i think we have one of those shows where people can come again and again and partly that's because of the atmosphere the friendliness of it the feeling that you're with the company do you know what I mean? Like they're not inaccessible stars and lovies and all that the stage door at the end they're there with you they'll sit out there forever talking to you and stuff like that they're so pleased to be here